Welcome to the Parrot Center at Loyalist College. Discover your library at loyalistlibrary.com. This video is one in a series that explores searching and research skills. Today, we'll introduce you to some advanced searching techniques that you can use to find information in Catalyst and other library databases. The content in this video presumes that you've already watched our basic search video and that you know a little bit about using Catalyst to look for information. What's the difference between a basic search and an advanced search? This is one of those times when library language can get confusing, but we're here to help you sort it out. A basic search, which is sometimes called a keyword search, uses a small number of carefully chosen words typed into one search box to find information. A basic search looks for the specified words everywhere, in the title, in the description of the resource, in the subject headings, and so on. It also searches all of the available resources and types of materials in the database or library catalog. The term advanced search can refer to one of two things. First, it might refer to an advanced search screen. These search screens have more than one search box and include filters like format, date, and others. In many cases, the advanced search screen also allows the user to specify where they want a search term to be located in the title of the resource, the subject headings, and so on. This combination of multiple search boxes and filters allows you to create a more focused search. Advanced searching might also refer to Boolean searching. Boolean searching combines keywords in different ways using AND, OR, and NOT, which are known as Boolean operators. In some cases, brackets are also placed around combinations of words. Each of these, AND, OR, NOT, and brackets, give the search software a particular instruction regarding how it will look for results and the kind of results it will retrieve. Let's explore each of these in some more detail. You can use AND between words to tell the search software that you want results that include both or all of the words. You can use AND to connect more than two words in a search. The software looks for results that include all of the words that you've connected with AND. AND focuses and narrows down your search. It's often the default in many library databases, and it's often added behind the scenes in a search engine like Google. Here's an example. If you wanted to find information on the impact of GMOs on the Canadian food industry, you could type GMOs and Canadian and food industry. Use OR between words to tell the search software that you want results that include either the first word or the second, or the third. You can connect more than two words with OR. OR broadens your search and can be very helpful if you're searching for a topic that has several synonyms. Synonyms are similar words that have related meanings. For example, if you're searching for information related to employment, you might also want to search for words like work, career, job, vocation, and so on. It can also be helpful if a word has multiple spellings. A good example of this is the word color, spelled with a U here in Canada, but without the U in other parts of the world. Finally, it can be helpful for searching broader or narrower terms, such as healthcare, when you're searching for information related to nursing or medicine. Here's an example. If you wanted to find information on nursing care plans, you could search for nursing care plans or patient care plans or patient care planning. Some libraries will suggest synonyms or related words when you begin to type in your search. If there is a term that you want to omit from your search results, you can include that word in the search preceded by the word not. Not narrows your search by removing or ignoring elements of a topic. Not can be challenging to use, and it's important to remember that including it in a search may mean that you miss out on useful information. Here's an example. If you were searching for information on dementia, but wanted to focus on conditions other than Alzheimer's, you could search for dementia, not Alzheimer's disease. Not can also be used to clarify your search. For example, New York, not New York City. You can use brackets along with Boolean operators to make your search more specific and to combine groups of search terms. This is one way that you can search for variations on the same word or several synonyms in a single search. Similar to a math equation, in a search, any terms enclosed in brackets are searched first. You can use more than one Boolean operator and more than one set of brackets in a single search. For example, using brackets around two words connected with AND, followed by two words connected with OR,
tells the search software that you want all of the words in the brackets and one of two words that follow the brackets. In practice, it might look something like this. GMOs or genetically modified crops and Canada and either agriculture or food industry. Another searching technique that isn't as well known is truncation. When we use truncation, a word ending is replaced by a symbol. Different databases use different truncation symbols, so it's important to make sure that you know which symbol to use. This information can often be found on the database's help screen, but if you're not sure, ask the library. One of the most common symbols used is the asterisk. Using truncation tells the search software to search for different forms simultaneously. It increases the number of search results and can be very useful when you're looking for different variations of a word. For example, if you type music followed by an asterisk, the search software will bring results that include music, musical, musician, musicians, and so on. Truncation can be tricky. It can bring some unexpected results and some irrelevant ones, especially if the truncation symbol is placed too soon. For example, if you typed M-U-S followed by an asterisk, you would get a wide range of words like must, muse, museum, muscle, and so on, in addition to variations on the word music. Placing the truncation symbol too soon can bring too many results that aren't useful. Using quotation marks to enclose your search terms ensures that the words will be found in exactly the order in which you've typed them. This is sometimes called an exact phrase search. Unlike using AND, which means that your search results will include both words anywhere in the results, using quotation marks tells the search software that you want results that contain exactly those words in exactly that order. Many search engines, including many library catalogs and databases, and Google, exclude common words in English or other languages, such as the, of, or I in English, la, which means the in Spanish, and de, which means of in French. These are called stop words. When a search engine ignores a term that is critical to your search, for example, LA, which is a common abbreviation for Los Angeles, you can enclose the term in quotation marks. For example, if you search for Microsoft Office, enclosed in quotation marks, the search software will only find results where Microsoft is directly followed by Office. So, it won't find an article with the sentence, in my office, I use Microsoft nor would it find Office Suite by Microsoft. Remember that using quotation marks will give you a smaller number of results, and it might mean that you miss useful information. When using quotation marks in a search, it's also important to verify the correct order of the words and the correct spelling. How do you do an advanced or Boolean search in Catalyst or in an individual library database? Your first step is visiting the library's website at loyalistlibrary.com. You can do an advanced search in one of two ways. First, you can type your search with your chosen keywords along with any Boolean operators, brackets, truncation, or quotation marks into Catalyst, which you'll find partway down the page. Or if you click on the advanced search link, a new page will open and you'll see Catalyst's advanced search screen. Here, you can use multiple search boxes along with the dropdowns to add Boolean operators to create and customize your search. Try both options and see what kind of results you get. If you're focused on one very specific subject area, you might want to search an individual library database. To find a list of all of the databases that the library subscribes to, visit loyalistlibrary.com and click on the e-resources button. This will display a list of all of the databases purchased by the library. You can limit by subject to find a database that best matches your topic and try a Boolean search, use the database's advanced search screen, or both. And that's it! Now you have some advanced searching skills and tools that you can use to find the information you need in Catalyst or in individual library databases. This video is part of a series on searching and research skills. The other videos in this series will introduce you to the library's website, walk you through creating your search strategy, and more. We've also created a handout that you can use to guide you through an advanced search in Catalyst. If you have questions or need extra help, get in touch with us using the contact information below.